welcome to class 7 mathematics classes today we are going to start mensuration chapter chapter number 23 here you you will learn perimeter perimeter of some geometrical shapes okay so what is perimeter at first the perimeter of a simple closed figure like triangle rectangle square rhombus okay and this all we have to find the perimeter so first of all let us see what is perimeter perimeter is the length of its boundary okay the perimeter of a simple closed figure is the length of its boundary so by this what we understand the perimeter of a simple closed figure is the length of its boundary okay so and the unit the unit of the perimeter is just like the unit of length okay like length means a distance okay we have the units of length as centimeter millimeter kilometer meter isn't it so those are the units of perimeter because this is also a length type of length okay let's see some geometrical shapes and its perimeters okay like triangle let us see triangle at first triangle we can draw in this manner a triangle there are three sides in a triangle okay side a side b and side c three sides and they are closed okay and this is a closed figure okay so there is no gap all are joined these three line segments are joined so this is a closed figure okay the total length from here to here and here and here is its boundary okay the length of its boundary is its perimeter so if we add this length this length and this length we'll get the perimeter of this triangle so suppose the length of this is a and length of this is b and length of this is c then the perimeter of the triangle is given by perimeter of the triangle is equals to a plus b plus c units okay unit can be centimeter millimeter kilometer meter so any units which is given here next is triangle no next is rectangle triangle is here only rectangle okay let us see the shape rectangle rectangle is like this opposite sides this opposite of this side is equal to each other and opposite to this side is equal to each other that means opposite sides are equal in a rectangle okay and here is one more line segment which can join these two opposite corners which is called as diagonal of the rectangle okay suppose length is l and breadth is b and the diameter is d okay not uh, diagonal not the diameter okay this is diagonal so here we have to find the perimeter of the rectangle okay and here is length and here is breadth so perimeter of rectangle is given by perimeter of rectangle is equals to 2 into length plus breadth why because there are two length and two breadth the total length of the boundary is the perimeter so that is why 2 is taken as common 
and length plus breadth is the perimeter of the rectangle now what is the length of this di diagonal okay the length of this diagonal is given by one expression which we have to learn for the timing length of the diagonal of this rectangle is given by square root on the L square that is length square plus breadth square units okay unit of length here also here also unit of length whatever units are supplied here with the length that is the unit of this perimeter and this unit of this length of diagonal okay now let us see the square number three is square 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 the opposite sides are equal all the four sides are equal opposite sides opposite sides are equal and all the sides are also equal that means all the line segments are of equal length if this is a then this is also a this is also a this is also a okay all the line segments are equal in square so to find the perimeter of the square what we have to do we have to add this 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 and this okay there are four equal lengths then we can take four as the common okay so therefore perimeter perimeter of square is equal to what 4 into a that is side okay units these all formulas we have to learn number 2 we have to see the length of the diagonal of this square so here the length of diagonal will be different so length of the diagonal is given by length of the diagonal in this square is given by square root under as length is a breadth is b breadth is a breadth is also a length and breadth both are same so square root under a square plus a square like in rectangle it is length is square plus breadth is square so in place of length is square we have given a square in place of breadth is square we have given a square so there are two a square here so we can simplify this expression by adding these two and we are getting two a square okay now this a square and this square root will get cancelled and it will become a okay and root 2 is there only root 2 so we can find the length of the diagonal of a square by this expression a if we know the length of the side then we can easily find the length of the diagonal of the square and the perimeter of the square also okay so units we have to write in this chapter we should not forget to write the unit which is supplied in the question or in the problem okay next is rhombus okay number four rhombus rhombus is like this okay this looks like square but this is not a square okay although the sides are equal in this case also all the sides are equal in this case also okay but in this square the angle here is 90 degree okay all the angles are 90 degree in this square but in rhombus these angles are not 90 degree okay so this is the difference between rhombus and 
square so here the perimeter is same like that of square because we are looking for the length of the boundary as the length is equal here of every side so one two three four four sides are there so perimeter of rhombus is same as square perimeter of rhombus is equals to 4 a units okay now number 5 is circle in this case in the case of circle we will not call the length of total length of the boundary as perimeter here we will call it as circumference the perimeter the perimeter of a circle is called its circumference okay so just remember perimeter and circumference is same thing but we call circumference in case of circle okay so the total length of the boundary So this is a circle and the center of this circle is here okay so we can mark it as O from O to any point on the circumference is the radius let us denote it by R okay and the double of the radius is called as the diameter of the circle let us denote it by from here to here that is this length I am talking about okay let it be d okay denoted by d now this is a circle and this is the center of the circle from here the center of the circle to any point on the circumference is the radius and the double of the radius is the diameter of the circle okay now we are looking for the circumference of the circle so circumference of a circle is given by an expression circumference is equals to of a circle is equals to 2 pi r so this is the expression to find the circumference of a circle 2 is a constant pi is also constant this pi you should know it is equal to pi is equals to 22 by 7 the value of pi is 22 by 7 so and here 2r 2r means diameter double of radius is what diameter 2r means diameter okay and this pi is the constant okay as, as this pi is actually circumference by diameter the ratio of circumference and the diameter of any circle will be equal to pi that is equals to 22 by 7 okay always it is true whatever may be the circle small big of any size okay of any radius but the ratio between the circumference of that circle and the diameter will be equal to 22 by 7 this value we have taken as 3.5 one four for any calculation work okay and here this expression the circumference of a circle can be written as can be written as pi d okay as double of radius is equals to d that is diameter double of radius is equals to diameter that is why we can write it as pi d also okay so here we have done the introduction part of perimeter chapter perimeter so my dear students please learn this all formula to use in the problems or in the exercise thank you